sometimes they can be a little bit like laundry lists. You know, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. But they got to be connected to something, or they are just like a laundry list. And and there's a vision that drives our campaign, and there's a vision that drives the other campaign. Hillary chose, before I was added to the ticket, so I get no credit for the choice, but I'm going to tell you how much it means to me, this vision stronger together. And it really reflects who she is. Hillary Clinton really kind of got her start in terms of her passion for life in a Methodist youth group in the suburbs of Chicago. She had this really interesting pastor, a guy named Don Jones, who must have been quite a guy because I meet people around the country who tell me Don Jones was my youth group pastor. He didn't always make the church guys happy, so I think he moved around a lot. But, but he made a huge impact on the lives of kids that he touched. And, and Hillary Clinton was in a youth group that he ran, and he made a huge impression on her. And she decided when she was a teenager, I really want to make my life about serving others. And with a particular focus on how to make families and children successful. And her, her attitude is kind of a barometer. If families and children succeed, then everything in society is going to go a lot better. You know, you can, if you just focus on that, and you do that well, then everything goes, goes better. Remember the first book that she wrote when she was First Lady, It Takes a Village to Raise a Child, was all about this notion of the responsibility that we all have to help children and families be successful. And so that's why she she picked this. She she believes stronger together. That's an American value. Eat pluribus unum out of many one. There's a togetherness thing. In order to form a more perfect union, the, the, there's a community concept put into that. And that's what Hillary believes. And we have a, a three-pillar campaign. This, this book is filled with our policies because we think if we're interviewing for a job, we ought to tell you, here's what we'll do. Here's how it'll help. Here's how we'll pay for it. Here's how it will affect communities. So we put it all in here. And there are three basic pillars. And the first pillar is we want to build an economy that works for everybody, not just a few. And that's over the course of everybody's life. Uh, when they start into school, uh, through being seniors. An economy that works for all, not just for a few. That's pillar one. Pillar two is we need to be leaders in the world. America plays a leadership role. And how are we strong? We're strong when we have a strong military, certainly. I, know, I imagine I have a number of veterans in this room. I've got a boy who's a Marine Infantry Commander deployed overseas for the second time right now, my oldest son. We want to have a strong military, but we're also stronger together. You need strong alliances in the world of today. You, you, you know, no man is an island and no country is an island either. You have to have strong alliances. And as a, as a diplomat, Hillary has the ability and understands how to forge alliances. So that's the second piece, stronger together. And third, let's build a community respect. We're stronger together when we respect each other. Not, We don't need to trash each other. We don't need to point fingers at different groups here or there or blame others. If we can build a community of respect, that also makes us stronger. This is who I am too. I, I grew up in Kansas City. I was educated by Jesuits uh, who kind of put a thumbprint on my forehead of serving others. The motto of my all boys high school was men for others. That's often the case in Jesuit high schools men for others or persons for others. I was a missionary in Honduras for a year with Jesuits back in 1980 and 81. Hace 35 años, yo trabajé en Honduras como maestro de carpintería en Solador. De 